Hello, hello. Hope you've all had a marvellous weekend. Um, I have finished um, some projects that I would like to share with you. Um, basically what I've done is I've taken my last three kits and I've made embellished tags to make kits with those and um, I've created some, they were going to be file folders, um, they've turned out into a little something a little bit different um, but to, to show the the actual tags and the original tags these um, journal journals will be on my Etsy store so um, like I said they are they're kind of file folders but they're ring bound I have three two are the same size and they are from the um, keeping garden kits and um, then I have a much, much bigger one, which is from the um, Vintage Botanical Set 2. So, um, this is a little kind of dank, well it's just a little, um, hmm, it's a tassel, but it's been tied onto the ring. So, there is an image kit on the front. And this is the first kind of, this is what started off as the file folder and it was just way too small to fit all the tags in because there are a lot, <laughs> a lot of tags. Um, so this is the first one with the really pretty Forsythia. This is the second one and this is backed onto black cardstock. And there's some copper oil pastel around there. There is this one and this one which is a pocket and there is just a Tim Holtz card inside the pocket there's some trim and that's that gorgeous photograph of the conservatory and the um, flower bed under the window so that is the first pocket now the pages because I thought well I'm gonna have to put pages in this um, it looked really good with just the file folders and they're like dividers that I've made um, but I've put some paper in um, there's two types of paper there is um, colour, pastel colour paper and every other page is, it's a sketching paper and it's cartridge. So and it's quite a smooth one, it's a really nice quality paper. And the cartridge paper, I have inked the edges of all of the cartridge paper. So then we have some yellow, another piece of cartridge, another coloured page, another piece of cartridge and another colour page. So there's six pages in each section and there are three sections. So that's 12 sides, that's 36 sides for the, throughout the, um, the file folder thingy. So this is the second file folder, another gorgeous image on there, we've got some trim and some tabs. So this pocket has some gorgeous lace down here and there's a little, um, little tag. There is this one and there is this one. I'm really sorry, um, I've kind of had a had a relapse of the shingles so I've had a really bad week um, and I'm having some blood tests to try and find out why it's, why it's dragging on but my asthma is a bit rubbish as well at the minute so I'm not heavy breathing at you, I'm just just trying to breathe. <laughs> um, there's a little tag in the envelope and inside the envelope there is a little vintage book page which would make a lovely little tag or a little embellishment if you wanted to do that. All of these, um, the three file folder thingies will all be in my Etsy store as well as the new kits which I will show you after the, after the file folders. So this is another one with some gorgeous trim here. So we have a journaling card with the snowflakes on and they are snowflakes not snowdrops they are snowflakes um, another journaling card and this one I really like this one with the sari silk at the top I really enjoyed making these tags um, for this kit and I'm really really happy with how they've come out I don't normally say that <laughs> um, it got a little diddy envelope here and inside this envelope there are three little round embellishments um, with some layering with a little circle of an image and they're all backed with something different that you can journal on. I 
I'm going to keep an eye on the time because I'm hoping I can get these done in one video. And this is the final pocket. I've um, got another gorgeous image there. And the tag. And this one. And then we've got a little hangy tag. So there's lots of um, trim and things as well throughout the dividers and the file foldery things. So that is the first. Um, now the first kit, the biggest kit, some of that I managed to print out onto photographic paper but I've run out of paper so please do excuse the quality of these prints. This particular image here would print like that if it was on photographic paper um, or a better quality. This is just a heavyweight ivory um, paper um, but I wanted to show you the kit so that's page one page two, page three, page four, page five and page six and to fill the space I've made the coloured tags tiny so you've got little versions. This I had to make a little bit smaller as well um, but it is designed to be a pocket so that is the first one. I'm just going to swap that now with set two if I can. Okay, so this is the second file folder. It's very similar to the first one, obviously, but the tags are different, um, and the paper. So we've got a little tag in here. Um, we have this tag. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, another little pocket there. It is actually, I don't know, other people have commented actually on my last video. Um, it is really time consuming when every single tag is handmade and you're not just, um, you know, printing onto a cardstock or a heavyweight paper um, to pop in your journals. Um, and I actually really understand how long <laughs> it takes to make one hand handmade tag. Um, we've got a little image here um, and obviously in the video yeah, we I spent 40 minutes doing a video and ended up with two tags so you can imagine the kind of time this has taken <laughs> to make so many tags I have really enjoyed it because I do love I love making tags and embellishments and again we've got this cartridge paper which is a it's a it's a sketch sketching cartridge paper um, and there is another vintage book page. So I'm not sure if it's this take, but um, cause I've done a couple of takes now. My phone kept ringing. Uh, this little charm and a paper clip. And we've got another pocket. I love this page. I love this little spread here. There we go. Oh, you know what I've done? I think they might be a bit muddled. Have a quick look. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what happened, but I think that was on the previous kit. So the kits are in order. They will be on in order on my Etsy store. They obviously, whatever is in these file folders is what will be on Etsy. Um, <laughs> there's two little embellishments in there I mean obviously the kits work really really well together so um, in all of my working trying to keep organised keep one kit separate from another I have obviously somewhere along the line messed up slightly um, but these folders are what they are and the kits are what they are so we've got those Gorgeous sweet peas, gorgeous little tag, and we've got another little hangy tag with some trim along the bottom there. And I want this one in the back because the little hangy tag hangs over like that. So that is the second file folder. The second kit, however, may look slightly different. And again, this this is all printed onto paper, so the print quality is much, much better when you print it onto a photographic paper. These um, look great 
they look very vintage on this kind of paper but the um, oh this is correct uh, maybe I'm just getting confused with the previous take oh no panic over it's spot on um, yeah that's this one because I made <laughs> made similar tags for both kits so and again we've got some little mini ones here as well as the larger ones so you can see I've I've shrunk them down I wanted to fill the space where the envelope was so that is um, the first two kits and the first two file folders that will be in my Etsy store thank you so much for watching thank you for your patience with me um, I'm really shaky and not feeling 100% um, but um, I'm having good days now <laughs> so it's it's getting better um, take care and I will see you in the next video and I'm hoping to get quite a few videos in this week on finishing this fold folder with the Mrs Cog kit so I'm not sure if I've already told you that and if I have I really apologise I will try and pull myself together properly for the next video I will see you soon bye